Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII. Um, in the last episode, we returned to Junon and headed to the underwater reactor, and we were able to stop the Shinra from getting their hands on the next huge materia. Um, so now, we've got ourselves a submarine, and now we can actually do a few things. However, before we board our submarine, there's actually a place we need to head to real quick, um, and that's Wutai. So yep, head all the way to the west. And here we are. Next, we'll enter Wutai. And now where we need to go is all the way back to where the statues are. Um, if you remember this from Yuffie's first side quest here, where we ran into Don Corneo. Um, anyway, head all the way to the back. Head this way. And we'll go into this cave. If y'all remember, this cave was on fire earlier. And, um, we really couldn't get much further than this. However, if you picked up that Leviathan scale, um, towards the end of the underwater reactor, um, you'll be able to douse these flames. So, the scale of the sea god shines. And, yep, and the fires go out. So, yep, you gotta, um, do it twice here. And, um, once it goes out, um, it'll reveal a chest, and it will contain... Um, the Orisuru, um, that is a weapon for Yuffie, so, um, yeah, make sure you pick that up, and then, after that, you want to head down here, scale of the sea god shines, and it'll reveal a materia, and it is the seal as well materia, so, yeah, basically what that does is you attach it to, um, a magic or a summon, and it'll give you a chance to steal, so, yep, um, and after that, that's really it. Um, we're actually going to go ahead and cut off the episode, and I'm going to go back to Junon. So, um, yep, I will see y'all in a second. Alright, here we are back in front of Junon. So, yep, we will go ahead and board the submarine, and we will head up north. Um, so, yep. You'll want to stop somewhere around here. And once you get here, um, go ahead and descend. And you will end up in front of this cave. Um, and you'll see that there's something in it. So, yep, let's go ahead and grab it. It seems like a key to somewhere. It seems really old. Analysis completed. Exact date of origin, undetermined. Estimated to be several thousand years old. Several thousand years? Ancients? And we received the key to the ancients. Um... That doesn't have any use now, but we will be needing that later on, so yep, we'll go ahead and get that out the way real quick. Um, and then our next stop is going to be through this cave. So yep, enter here, and once we've reached the end, there will be a place for us to ascend. So yep, head up, and we will be in front of this waterfall. So yep, go ahead and dock your submarine right here, and now we're going to need to have Vincent in our party for this, so yep, we will go ahead and grab him real quick. So, yep, once you do that, head inside. And, Vincent. That voice, it can't be. Lucrecia? Vincent? Lucrecia, stay back! Oh, we're well, getting Vincent backstory now. Oh, okay. And I'm guessing the dude in the black suit is Vincent, I guess, back when he was a Turk. <coughs> yep. This is, this is how they met. Um. Oh. 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 That's sad. If she is happy, then. I don't mind. And, and yeah, I guess that's her b pregnant with Sephiroth, I guess. <clears throat> I'm against it! Why experiment on humans? She and I are both scientists. After that, a child was born to Lucrecia. That child's name was... Sephiroth. So... Oh! Oh gosh, and, and yeah, he is not happy. Yes, I wouldn't be either. Oh 
god. Jesus Christ, what is with people getting shot in this game? First it was Zack, and now Vincent. Jesus Christ, I was not expecting this much gunfire to be in my Final Fantasy game. Good lord. Um, anyway, but, oh. Uh, he's getting hooked up to stuff. I guess that's where he can transform. Um. So. It, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that totally explains it. Yeah. This body is the punishment that's been given to me. I was unable to stop Professor Gaston Hojo and Lucrecia. I was unable to stop them. All that I was able to do was watch. That is my punishment. Man. Wow, that's really sad, actually. Good lord. Um, Lucrecia, you're alive. I wanted to disappear. I couldn't be with anyone. I wanted to die. But the Genova inside me wouldn't let me die. Lately, I dream a lot of Sephiroth. My dear, dear child. Ever since he was born, I never got to hold him. Not even once. He can't call me his mother. That is my sin. Back! Stay back! Vincent, won't you please tell me? What? If Sephiroth is still alive? I heard that he died five years ago, but I can see him in my dreams so often. And I know that physically, like myself, he can't die so easily. Please, Vincent, tell me. Uh, funny story about that. N yeah, no, no, don't ruin this cloud. <laughs> Lucrecia, Sephiroth is dead. And, and... I guess technically he isn't lying, so, yeah. So, yep. That's all there is to do over here. Um, go back inside, nothing happens. Um, but we will be coming back here later, um, to grab some stuff for Vincent. So, for now, we will head back in the sub, um, submerge, and we will head back out this way. So, yep. Once we get out of here, ascend again. And now, we want to head by the Golden Saucer. So... Um, yep, not here. Um, yep, get all the way around until we're, um, basically in front of this house. This is the house that we gave the dude the mithril for, um, Eris's final limit break. So, yep, once you're here, submerge, and, oh! Um, ascend, submerge, okay, he's gone. <laughs> okay, thank god. Um, yeah, you do not want to mess with that guy yet, um, trust me, um, you are not prepared for it. So, anyway, um, here's the submarine that, um, the huge material was in, so, yep, we'll go ahead and grab it. So, this is the leader sub. Damn, makes me sick just thinking about it. Huge material recovered. No damage appears to have been sustained. Ugh, that's good to hear. Now we grab the huge materia. So, yep. We got that, and now... When we're done with that, and now there's one more place we need to go. So, I'm gonna head back this way. And... It is going to be... Down here. So, yep. Submerge. And we're going to be entering that airplane. So, yep. Head inside. Get down the ladder. This is the Shinra's Gelnica type airplane. I wonder why it went down here. So, yep. Uh. And there's a safe spot here, and we are going to need it because the enemies here are insane. So, yep, I'm going to save, and we're going to cut off the video real quick. So, yep, I will be back in a second. Alright, we're back. Um. Couple of things. Um, I put Red back in my party, and then I also gave him and Sid ribbons, and then I gave Cloud the um, Mystify added effect onto his armor because um, there are enemies here that do like to confuse you. So yeah, if you put that on, that won't happen. So yep, we will go ahead and open up this treasure chest, and we'll receive a Heaven's Cloud. 
that's a weapon, obviously, for Cloud. Um, it's pretty strong. Um, it's a lot stronger than what I got on right now. Um, there aren't any Link Materia slots, but um, these don't need any Links, so it's okay. Um, anyway, after that, we'll head in here. What is this place? Must be some kind of research establishment because there's a Mako generator. So, yep, um, there's actually, um, quite a few, um, treasures in here. So, yep, first off, we'll go ahead and grab this. Um, it's an escort guard. So, yep, grab that. And then our next item is up there. I don't know if you can see it behind the treasure chest, but, um, Yep, it's a materia. Uh, it's the double cut materia. I don't know why it's purple because it's actually yellow. Um, what that does is it basically allows you to attack twice. So um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put that on Sid. Um, because he can make good use of it, being my physical attacker and everything. And then, um, oh god, we're about to get into a fight here. Um, yeah. Um, like I said earlier, the um. Fights here are kind of insane because these enemies are really tough. Um, then magic breath on you. Um, and yeah, there's that double cut. So, yep. Uh, magic breath again. And ow, and look how much damage that did, too. That's crazy. Um, so, yep. Took that guy out. They give a lot of experience and a lot of AP, so this will be a good training spot if you want to um, use it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn off the random fights because I don't want to get into fights here. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, the next treasure chest is actually going to be in this corner right here. You can kind of see it, like, like, the shimmer go off, but, um, it's hidden behind this pipe. But anyway, pick it up, and you'll receive a conformer. And this is actually Yuffie's best weapon. Um, and so basically what it does is it, um, does damage, um, according to the opponent's level, and, um, if you actually attach a morph materia to it, um, it actually doesn't reduce the damage, so, um, that makes Yuffie basically the best morpher in the game, and speaking of, um, it's a good thing we get a conformer here, because, um, a lot of the enemies in here, um, if you morph them, they'll actually turn into sources for you, so, yeah, um, this is basically the place you want to go if you want to min-max your characters, but I actually don't like min-maxing my characters, because that kind of makes things a little bit easy. Um, and, anyway, I'm um, actually just going to grab this last treasure chest, and it's a mega elixir, so, yep, we'll do that, and now we can leave, and I'm actually going to go ahead and save again, so, um, yeah, I'm going to cut off the video, and, um, we'll be back in a second, so, yeah. Alright, we're done with that, so we'll head in here, and... You gotta run into the Turks again, so yep. Go ahead and talk to them. Turks? Again? We just seem to keep running into each other lately. There are weapons and material developed solely to destroy Sephiroth. But, it was attacked by a weapon and sunk to the bottom of the sea. I can't give you what's here. We'll take out Sephiroth. I guess this is our last meeting. I won't let you get in our way. So yep. We'll be forced to fight these guys, and actually, um, before you kill them, there's actually um, two really good um, things you can steal from them. So, yep, first you want to steal from Rude, um, and he'll drop the Zydrich, which is a really good piece of equipment that basically, like, halves all elemental damage um, at the cost of not having any material slots. Um, and next, what you'll steal from Reno is... Um, a tough ring, um, and that basically boosts up both of your defenses, um, by a lot, so yeah. Make sure you pick both those up before you take these dudes out. And, um, that Neo Turret Cloud attack is the reason that you, um, want to have your ribbons equipped to your characters and have the, um, Mystify resistance as well. Because, um, when that confuses you, um, it will make this fight a lot more of a pain. So, yeah. Um, but since we don't have to worry about that, um, yeah, um, this fight will be a cakewalk. Um, so yep, Reno's out, so yep, all that's left is rude. Um, and these fights are honestly a lot easier than the, um, random encounters here, which is really funny to me. Um, so yep, rude's out, so yep, they head away. 
And yep, they're taken out, so. Yep, you get a lot of experience and AP for that. Um, right and set level up, get a lot of money, and they're gone. So, Shinra's new secret weapon was on this airship. So, yep. Once they leave, you can head in here. This must be the cargo room. So, yep. Grab this treasure chest. Um, you'll get another mega elixir. And head all the way to the corner over here. And pick this up. It's a spirit lance, which is for Sid. Um, and then, after that, head down these stairs. Um, this is terrible. It's all messed up. Um, next you'll want to grab this materia over here by the helicopter. Um, it's the Hades materia, and that's another summon. Um, and basically what that does is basically afflicts all the enemies with um, status ailments. Um, and a really funny thing to do with that is if you, um, attach it to your weapon with added effect, um, it'll basically, um, give all of your enemies, like, really crazy status effects, so yeah. Um, that's a really funny thing you want to do. Um, anyway, open up this treasure chest, you'll get an outsider, which is for Vincent. Then you want to open up this treasure chest, which has the high wind, which is Sid's level 4 limit break, so yep. Um, I'm not even close to learning that on him, so yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to mess with that right now. And, believe it or not, that's actually it for the sunken Galnica. Um, so yeah, once you're done in here, you can leave, but... You can always come back here to, um, morph creatures into sources and do some really good, um, grinding and, um, materia, AP growth. So, yeah. Once you're done, you can leave, and then surface, and we'll head back to Junon. Um, and now, um, normally I would call it an episode here, but, um, this is actually pretty short. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep going. Um, so yeah, our next stop is actually going to be Rocket Town. Um, so yep, disembark, grab our chocobo, and then fly. And now, we will head to Rocket Town. So, yep, we'll land here. Um, get off our chocobo here. And I'm actually going to save in front of here, and then, um, when we get back, um, we'll enter Rocket Town. So yeah, see ya. Alright, let's head inside. So, yep, you'll want to head up to the rocket. And you'll notice, um, a bunch of Shinra guys. So, yep. Hmm, a spectacle. Is something going to happen? Oh, I'm getting excited. Um, so, yeah. Um, they seem completely clueless. But, um, anyway, make your way up here. Those terrorists are here. So, yep, we're gonna have to fight our way up. Um... And yeah, these dudes go down real quick, so yeah, um, trying them. Uh, yeah. Yep. Grab that. Now we'll head up. Don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack! So yep, more fights. Um, yep. So, yeah, try it again. Yep, that should take you out. And we're done. So, yep. And... Erg, you're not going anywhere! Uh-uh! Nowhere! So, yep. Take these dudes out. Fine. And they're dead. So, yep. Grab all that. God damn it! What the hell do they think they're gonna do to my rockets? I'm out of here, Cloud. I'm gonna kick those fucking shit right out of my rocket. So, yep, with that, um, if Sid wasn't in your party before, um, he is now. So, yep. Make sure you have him ready to go before you do this. Yep. Climb up the ladder. And we're running the route again. Mm. You again. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. So, yeah. We literally fought him like five minutes ago, but yep, here he is again. And, um, 
We can actually steal another Zardrich from him, so yep, we're gonna start with a shrine. And then... Yeah, Grand Spark. Um, and now we can steal from Rude, so yep, we'll grab... Um, oh, it didn't work. Okay. Um, anyway. Yeah, we'll just keep stealing until we grab it. Um, I'm not worried about our health. Um, there we go. Um, so, yep. Double cut. Um, do that, and... Yeah, we'll just do magic press until he dies, so, yeah. Yep, yep, there he goes. Take it out. I think they had less health here than in the other place, but whatever. Um, anyway, get some good experience. Yep. Now he's knocked out. They got us. So, yep. Head inside. You. Why are you here? Who did the Turk should have been here? Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh, man. The Turks being dead in like that. But I won't let you through. Well, hey. He has balls, I guess. Anyway. Yeah, I probably can literally just hit him with physical attacks and be done with it. Yep, there we go. So, yep. Okay, can do that, and put in here, and hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when I thought something was going on, you come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna load a material bomb in this and blow up Meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Oh, man, this is so cool! Wait a minute. Shut up! Just shut the hell up! How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. And Crash is like, whatever. <laughs> oh, I love it. But, we plan to run it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Cher is doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead. Go tell everyone. Alright, Captain. Good luck. So. Hey, Sid. What are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the materia. We're gonna borrow their powers and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose that huge materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that materia is precious, and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen. I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No. I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans only used to walk around on the ground, but now they can fly. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans, and science just might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science, so to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinra's gonna do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid... Shut the hell up! I don't want to hear it! Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey! Palmer, what the hell did you do? They said they finished preparing the autopilot, so I launched it. Goddamn Shira, why did she pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, 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 almost lift off. What the? No countdown. It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey. Blast off! So, yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off! So. Yep. <laughs> looks like the rocket's got a. Oh my god! Um, looks like the rocket's got a second wind! <laughs> so, yep. Get to watch it take off again. And, yep, and, yep, it was like it's staying in the air this time, so yep, no more falling back on the ground.
So, yep. We're off. So, yep. There she goes. So, I finally made it. Outer space. Let's see. How's the course set? Yep, it's headed for a collision with Meteor. What should we do? Are y'all going to die? That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change course. Is this the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young. Don't give up so easily. I'm not gonna crash into Meteor. Um, just watch. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. Okay, so at least we have an out. Um, I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash into Meteor. But what are we going to do with the huge materia? Are we just going to give it up? Hmm. If you want the materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe all that I really wanted was just to go into outer space. So, why don't you do whatever you think is right? So, yep. Head this way. Climb up this ladder. And I finally found the huge materia. So, yep. It's structured so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from this control panel. So, yep. There's a control panel. Try and operate it. Yes. Enter passcode. Hey, Cloud. You know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, press B, A, Y, or X. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock and you can get the huge materia. So, what order am <laughs> so, what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know. <laughs> Just try and punch in the code randomly. So, yep. Um, so, you want to do square, circle, X, X. Oh, passcode input error. Unauthorized user identified. Protection system will activate in three minutes. Oh, I did it in the, <laughs> I did it in the wrong order. Seems you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get the materia back. So yeah, actually, I meant to do circle. Um, square, square, X. Oh no. Oh my god. There we go. Trust me, I don't know what the fucking password is. There we go. <laughs> circle, square, X, X. There. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, um, yep. Alright, Cloud, it's unlocked. Yep. My great advice saved the day. So, yep. Received key item, huge materia. So, yep. Head back down. Down the ladder. Out this way. And down this ladder. And. Oh! Oh, God. And. Oh no! Ah! Uh, damn! My leg's stuck in the debris! Sid! I can't do anything with my strength alone. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go! If you don't hurry, the rock is gonna crash into Meteor! I can't go without my friends. Aww. You... <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> no time to worry about other people. I'm going to do whatever I can. You're stupid. You're really fucking stupid. Tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfunctioning. Shira, you're right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shira? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. So, yep. You stupid bitch. 
Sorry. Yep. It looks like we made it out alright. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. Yep. Yep, so we got set out alright, so hurry. I'm going to detach the escape pod. Hey Shira, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've checked it. Then I'm relieved. Oh, I went full circle. Thanks. Yeah, I think I was pressing the buttons too fast when I was doing that password. So, yeah, I messed it up a couple of times, but yeah. Um, um, with the three minutes, if you just find like a walker or something, you'll find the password, no problem. So yeah, um, <laughs> anyway. So this is outer space. Man, it's the real thing. I'm really here in outer space. So long, Shannon number 26. Um. But oh, yep. The rock is gonna crash. And. Um. And. and wow, it's actually kinda small. Um. Oh wow! Um. Well, it did look like it did something. Honestly, it did more than I was expecting, considering the size. And <laughs> oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting that dude to show up. Um. Anyway, yeah. Um. Yep. So, um, did it do something? Um. Hey, look! Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, well, uh, um, okay. And. Uh. Um. It doesn't look like it's broken. Wait, is it fixing itself? Oh. Well, dang. <laughs> well. That sucks. And yeah, I'm just like that guy. Like, like no. Sorry, yep. The rocket wasn't enough. And, um. In, yeah. Aw, oh, damn it! Um, and whether or not you pick up the force huge material or not, um, the same result will happen. Then the rocket will fail. Rufus and the others' plan was a failure. What a bust. But I kinda hope it'd work. We've been bothered them as much as we can. There ain't no other way. I wonder if we've really been wrong all this time. Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry, think! Hey, the girl's right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things will just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All the time we've been here, looking at the planet. I've been thinking even when we were flown in the ocean in that escape pod. I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, ocean, how wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realized it's so small. We're just flown in the dark. Kinda makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering inside it like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's gotta protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. No kidding, that was really nice. Yo, Sid, you even got to me. Now what? How are you gonna protect the planet from Meteor? 
Um, um, I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> okay. Great job. Huh? Did you hear something? Maybe it's the planet Scream, or is it Meteor? Hey, how do you know that this is really the planet Scream? Did you forget? Bugenhagen told us. Bugenhagen. Let's go see Grandfather, the Cosmo Canyon! I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that will be helpful. So yep, looks like that's our next destination, so yep. Um, in the next episode, we'll be heading to Cosmo Canyon, and we'll see what Bugen Hagen has to tell us. So, yep, I will see you in the next episode. Peace. I nailed that outro.